Good evening and welcome to another edition of Word on the Web. And we're calling this uh, new thing we're doing. Pastor, our executive pastor is coming up with new ideas. 15 minutes in the Word. Why? Because it only takes 15 minutes. In those 15 minutes, your life can change. Tonight, I want to talk about the results of following clear instructions. Has God ever told you to do something and you knew without a shadow of a doubt it was God? You know, there are times when you think it's God. There are times you may feel it's God, but you're not sure. But then there are times when God tells you with all clarity, this is what he wants you to do. Have you ever been in that position when you knew this is what God wanted you to do, but because of fear, because of folk, and sometimes because of your own failure, you chose not to do it. Well, today I want to share with you something that I want you to always keep in your mind. When God gives you those clear instructions, these three things will always happen. Say it again. When God gives you clear instructions, these three things, and you carry them out. When he gives you three, uh, clear instructions and you carry them out, these three things will always happen. I want to call your attention to Genesis chapter 7. It is the episode where Noah, who is living during a time where uh, people are bad to the bone. I mean, it's, it's, it's a wickedness, uh, grade A style. And it's in the midst of that season of the human race God decides that he is going to destroy the earth and start over with this building, the human race and dealing with people. So he sends a flood. And you know the story. It's found in Genesis chapter 6 and it goes all the way to Genesis chapter 9. Oh, actually 6, 7, and 8 records this episode of the flood and the ark and what have you. So Noah is chosen by God to build the ark. And he does that. And these are the things that happen as a result of Noah following clear instructions. God told Noah what to do. He told him why to do it. He told him how to build the ark, uh, the, the measurements, what kind of material to use it out of, who to put on it, uh, what animals to bring. I mean, he tells him everything. And Noah obeyed that. Listen to what he says. In Genesis chapter 7, verse number 7. I'm sorry, verse number 5. Noah did everything that the Lord commanded him. We could read that. And Noah followed God's clear instructions. He carried them out. Look at the three things that happened. Now, the reason why I want to share this with you, because I believe that there are those of you all who are watching me, that the last thing you needed to get you to the next step is a little motivation. The last thing or the piece that has been missing is this motivation to take the first step. Because once you take the first step, ain't going to be no step. There won't be any stopping you. Once you take the first step, there's going to be no. Once you set in your mind, this is what God wants me to do. And now you say to yourself, I'm going to do it. Then your life is about to change. And I came on tonight to just give you that push by sharing with you that when you carry out clear instructions, these things are going to happen. Listen to the first thing. It's found in verse number six. He says, Noah was 600 years old when the flood came. Verse seven, he and his wife and his sons and their wives went into the boat. They went in to escape the waters of the flood. Verse six and, seven, 6 and 7 gives us the first thing that happens when you carry out clear instructions. You ready for it? It allows you to experience safety. When you carry out the clear instructions like Noah did, you step into a realm of safety. Now, safety, not from problems, mm -mm. safety, not from 
confrontation and issues. Because remember, they're going to be on the ark for some time. They're going to be sheltered in place for some time. And they've got a lot of animals on there with no plumb line. So it's going to get pretty messy. But the safety is that they will remain intact. That their lives are not put at risk for destruction. When God gives you clear instructions and you carry them out, there is a place of safety. Doesn't mean you won't have problems. It means problems won't have you. Doesn't mean they won't be challenges. What it means is that you will be equipped to deal with every challenge that comes your way. Doesn't mean there won't be irritation and frustration, but what it means is that you will have what it is you need to deal properly. There is a place of safety. And guess what, brothers and sisters? We all want safety. That's the first thing. When you carry out clear instructions, you will experience a place of safety. Do what you God tells you to do with your money and watch it stay safe. Do what God tells you to do with your body and watch physically you stay safe. Do what God tells you to do as it relates to your gift and watch your gift produce places in your life and things in your life where you're safe. Now by safe, I mean this. You ready for it? By safe, I mean you are sure, you are accurate, you are fruitful and you are empowered. You're safe. There's security that comes with it. There's accuracy. You know where you are is where God wants you. You're fruitful. You're going to be productive and empowered. You're going to come out stronger. First thing that happens when you carry out clear instructions is that you're safe. Safe does not mean you won't have any problems. And I can't stress that enough because you can't not live on this planet without experiencing problems. But I say all the times, having a problem is not a problem. Not wanting to, not knowing how to solve the problem is the problem. Nor because he obeyed clear instructions, found safety, not only for him, but for those that he loved. Before I get to the second point, let me just drop this down. If you have influence over anybody, your decisions impact them too. When you have influence over others, your experience, I'm sorry, your decisions impact them too. So keep that in mind. First thing that will happen when you follow clear instructions is that you will experience safety. You're going to be secure, you're going to be accurate, you're going to be fruitful, and you'll be empowered. The second thing is found in verse 8. Listen to what verse 8 says. The clean animals, the unclean animals, the birds, and everything that crawls on the earth came to Noah. Verse 15. They all came to Noah in the boat in groups of twos. That was every creature that had breath of life. When you carry out clear instructions, you not only experience safety, you ready for this? But things that you need to do what God calls you to do comes to you. You see, one of the things I've discovered is my obedience opens the door for me to handle better and in some cases to recognize what God is giving me. A lot of times, brothers and sisters, let me say it this way. A lot of times, we are missing out what we need because we're not doing what we need to do. Sometimes, we are missing out on the very thing we need because we're not doing what we need to do. You need, the fella needs his blood pressure to come down, to be regulated. That's what he needs. Well, he's not experiencing that because he's not doing what he needs to do. He's not exercising. He's not eating properly. 
making any sense to you. When you obey clear instructions from God, God allows what needs to happen to happen for you. These animals come to Noah. He doesn't go out looking for them. Noah ain't out there uh, in the wilderness with a flashlight. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. No, they're coming to him. Why? Because he's done what God told him to do. What do you stand in need of? You could be missing out because you have not done what God called you to do. Again, we're talking about clear instructions. Husband, wife, the very thing you need in that relationship, if you would obey the clear instructions that God has told you, could happen. Business owner, the very thing you need to take that business to the next level will happen when you obey clear instructions. Benefits for obeying God. Results that will happen when you carry out clear instructions, you'll be safe. But then secondly, you will get what you need. It will come to you. Jesus says it this way. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Not all these things you ask for will come. No, all of these things will be added to you. And you know the things he was talking about? The necessities. What you need comes to you when you carry out clear instruction. But then thirdly, it's found in verse 23. Listen to what he says. All that was left was Noah. Well, let me start at the beginning of the verse. I'm sorry. So God destroyed from the earth every living thing that was on the land. That was every man, animal, crawling thing, and bird of the sky. And all that was left was Noah and what was with him in the boat. When you carry out clear instructions, you're not only safe, secure, accurate, fruitful, empowered, you not only experience what you need coming to you. You ready for this? You will always have something left. Now, something left may not always be tangible. Maybe it's the testimony. But you've got something to work with. When you obey clear instructions... God will always leave you something to work with. Noah had what he needed to start over again. You concerned about losing. And I'm telling you, there's a way to always have something left. And that's to obey clear instructions. That's my time. 15 minutes, and that's enough time to change your life. Father, in your name, I thank you. I pray for my brother, my sister, that you would help us through the aid of the Holy Spirit. In fact, about it, do it through us. Let us follow clear instructions so that we can experience safety, so that we can experience what we need coming to us. We can experience having something left over to work with. We ask you this in the name of Jesus. Touch that person who does not know you. Open the door of their hearts and come into them so that they can have a relationship with you. This is what we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, remember you're alive, you're important, and you're changing for the better. 15 minutes. It's enough time to change your life.